Okay. First thing I want to show is uh, we've got an animated biped here, just real basic animations so that we can check how the vertex assignment's going in this skinning process. And uh, what I want to show here is, let's get rid of the weight tool for a minute. I want to take this biped hand, let's get out of skin, take this biped hand and just delete this animation. So I can just grab those keyframes, delete them. Um, you can see it's not moving now. And we'll go to motion and uh, the key info rollout, which is a nice place to keyframe biped. And uh, I'll just go to frame, stay on frame zero and hit set key, the little red dot. We go to frame 10 and put this arm up here so we can see what that mesh is doing when it's in this particular orientation when the bones are moving this way. And let's set a key there at frame 10. And let's go to frame 20 and move this right back there to where a, a kind of weapon holding position that will be in later and lock that down. Okay, so we've got that animated. I'm just looking for flaws, um, places where it's where the mesh is misbehaving. And I can see uh, a couple of things um, in the forearm. It uh, looks like we've got some problems in the forearm here. See that bulge? Let's look at the, the vertices on this mesh. So we'll go to the mesh, we'll go to modify, skin modifier, edit envelopes, vertexes, or vertices is checked. And now I can just click on a vertex and see how it's assigned, like let's say that one. Now it helps if I have the um, weight tool up. So there's a weight tool. And it says this is all assigned to the right forearm. Uh, what about this neighbor over here that is so differently positioned? That's all assigned to the helper elbow. Okay, so somewhere in there we need to um, bridge this gap a little bit. So if I go to the forearm and say, how about if you are assigned to the right helper, elbow helper, and uh, let's make the absolute effect of that under weight properties, um, let's say 0.4. So you can see how that brought that down. And we can do the same thing with this one. Um, right now, this one's mostly forearm. Let's go to the helper elbow and say, again, some smaller percentage, like 0.4. OK, let's type that. And try this one. Since these are all kind of in the same place, let's see what that looks like. Uh, it's okay. It's a little bit better. It's kind of hard to tell um, up at this point. You just get the rough stuff and then go back in and refine it. I also want to look at uh, how the back of the shoulder looks. See a lot of stretching right here in this space between these vertices. You can see this vertex here is just doing an awful lot of moving right here. And I just want to tie it down a little bit. Right now, it's totally tied to the helper uh, on the shoulder. And this is totally clavicle here. So what if we take this clavicle vertex and give it a little bit of that shoulder movement? So the helper right shoulder is now active. And I'll go to absolute effect and say, let's give it like 0.3. And now you're going to see less movement, less stretching, because that vertex is going along for the ride there for at least part of it. And then. Also, what's this one? That vertex is all helper. That's probably OK. And this one's all clavicle. So you can see why it's stretching so much. So how about if this one becomes a little bit more and we still got the helper on the shoulder selected? How about uh, just a little bit of that? And this one, I don't know. I don't know if I want to give any clavicle percentage to that. So we're just looking at this. Looks OK. So you can see the stretching has been improved just by doing that. And so that's just a refinement process, doing that over and over as you study everything that's moving. And it's a balancing act as well, because nothing's going to be perfect. We're trying to uh, mimic skin and bones, which is pretty hard to do. To do. Let's see if there's anything else really obvious here. No, there's something there. Um, this vertex 
is all helper and this one is all upper arm so again we can kind of balance this out a little bit and I can select the upper arm upper right arm and give that a little bit of the percentage here and see if we can get that kink fixed okay so now this one could be a little bit more instead of just all upper arm it could be a little bit more helper see that's a lot better than it was and we got another issue and sometimes you get a chain reaction happening and again it's just a balancing act of getting these things to work